I'm going to take you on a journey down memory lane. Maybe you've seen pictures of it, or maybe you've seen a video, or maybe your unconscious mind remembers it. It's one of the memories that are very unique. It's the first time you started crawling. So guess what? That was the first time, or one of the times, and one of the most important times, that you've learned how to be resilient. A lot of people don't think that that was something big. But I tell you what, you watch those videos, and you'll see how babies take so much effort into trying to do those first remarkable steps. After crawling, they start walking. After walking, then the story begins. Resilience is enhanced sometimes with the environment that we're in. And there's so many stories of people that have been so strong and resilient. And you think, is that something that's in their DNA? Or is it the environment that they've grown in? Well, I'll tell you what, it's both. And we notice that in siblings. Sometimes we'll find one that's very resilient and doesn't give up. And sometimes we'll find another one that isn't that much. In times like this, we have witnessed amazing stories of resilience. One of the things that are in my memory and I can't forget, and of course there's so many other stories, is the day I saw the explosion that happened in Beirut. I was really devastated and shattered. Even though there were so many things happening around us, all around the world, but that shocked me. But you know what shocked me more was the second day. They got up, they started cleaning their city, they started rebuilding their city, and I thought that would never happen. That takes time. But guess what? That child that I talked about earlier that crawled, that's the beginning of the resilience and it continues in your life. The environment that people live in help them go through times like this. Images of devastation around the world things happening to people that are unthinkable, pain, and all of those things. And it's interesting that the focus that we had in these times were more because we needed something to divert us from what we're going through. And all these stories, which I said are amazing, they add to us. They show us how strong a human can be and how that human can adapt. All those images that started in China, then we saw Italy, then we all went through it. So much stuff, so much power that came out of humans, so much humanity and not giving up. These are all the things that we need to learn from and that we're still in. The amount of memories that we're going to take with us and our children also and what they have seen and us teaching them and being that parent that is scared but needs to go on, needs to teach this child that you know, we have to be resilient. We have to go on. Things will be fine. These are things that we will never forget. And it's all connected with that story of the child first crawling. Today, in front of all of you here, which I wish I was there physically, to see your faces, it's been such a long time. And even though we've gone through all this trauma and we're still going through it, things that we need to do, like wearing the mask, staying apart, all of these things that we never thought would happen, that we used to see maybe in movies, has happened to us and is still happening to us. Signs that humans can adapt. Humans can go on. Humans are resilient. And you know, we get this power from each other. It's so interesting. 
I was thinking the other day that pre-COVID, we used to go to events and we would be like, oh, do I have to mingle? Do I have to be social? I just want to get on with it, go and come back, right? And we used to feel that if you're not a social person, that that's a burden. So there was a lot of distractions actually around us. We were not doing that much of an effort. If you think about it, there's the music, there's the food, there's people talking and laughing. Sometimes you have people that don't say a word through an event because nobody really notices. In COVID, we have learned how to communicate, even though it's behind a screen, even though we're not physically close to each other, but emotionally we're connected. And we need to do that effort to get people to listen. So there's no distractions around us, right? That's also built our personality through this. It's made us, again, think about what are we going to do after this? Are we going to do more effort to build our resilience? Or are we just going to rely on things around us? And we here today, in these circumstances that we never thought would probably happen, where we'd all meet up and talk about amazing stories after all the trauma that we've gone through and that we're still going through, is a sign of resilience. And this need of connection was something that was so obvious in times like this. Even though we thought that humans don't like to be together well, that didn't happen. The whole idea of what's happening to us now and it not letting go of us that quick is because we always want to be together. Adapting to what's happening to us, adapting to wearing a mask, even though we thought it was not, it, it didn't make sense to us when we saw it before and it still doesn't really make sense. Adapting to all these rules and regulations that just made us think, this is not worth it. But that old friend of ours kicked in again, resilience. And not only did he do that, he brought with him three other friends that made such a strong team. He brought being thankful, gratitude, and being kind. Even though all these friends were with us at a very, very young age, but we lost them through this journey. With COVID and these circumstances that we're going through, they've come back and they've showed us how important it is to be thankful, to not take things for granted, to be kind, even though we were all taught to be kind at a very, very young age, but we forgot about it. So being kind, being thankful, having gratitude, and adding to it that amazing resilience force has made us in such a good phase right now. And I hope that we continue doing this because this is the only thing that will help us. This is the only thing that will make us appreciate. This is the only thing that will heal us. One of the things that someone told me was, so we talk about the past, because I want to go back to the past. I want to live in the past. Everything was much better pre-COVID. Everything was so much easier. But was it really? If we think about it, were we doing an effort? Were we trying to push as much as we can in helping other people? Were we trying to be kind? Were we trying to be resilient? Or did we just go along with it? This is my message to all those people. Let's take the good from the past. Let's live in the present. Yes, the present. We're all in this together. We need this strength and unity. And we need to appreciate every hour of the day. We need to live and smell and feel and look at all these beautiful things around us that we took for granted. And only that will help us. And only that will make us continue being resilient. Together. Unity. Gratitude. And maybe you've heard these words before and you think, well, what's new in that? 
Well, I tell you what, if you've come out of this and you haven't started to use more of these things, then you've lost. But if you come out of this or you know, trying to adapt to it, but you're actually now more kinder and more thankful and you have gratitude, then you're a winner. And we all want to be winners together. No one gets left behind. We're in this together. There's not one hero, there's a group of heroes in this story. And I'm so grateful to be part of this story today. So I have one question for you. Do you want to be part of the story? And today, will you want to choose to live in every minute and every hour and enjoy what you have and be thankful for where we are today. Will you try today on your way home to remember these amazing talks that are happening today? And will you be mindful of the words that you've heard today? And on your way home, promise me that you will keep an amazing image in your head of something beautiful that you've seen because that's being mindful, that's living in the moment, and that's what's gonna help you heal. So again, I want to ask you, what would you choose? Stay blessed, stay humble, and all the best to all of you.